detectives need your help. New at 11 tonight, two years ago, an Elizabeth City man was found dead in rural Pasquotank County. Someone shot 22-year-old Adrian Johnson. His body was found lying in a field. The sheriff's office says it is looking for new leads. And 10 in your size, Jason Marks, spoke with Johnson's family who say somebody knows something. Yeah, Tom, they're hoping that somebody will soon step forward. They say they think about Adrian every day, and the only thing that could bring closure would be an arrest. Somebody knows something. It had to be more than one person there. For two years. What happened on this rural stretch of road in Pasquotank County has remained a mystery. I mean, I still really don't believe it. It's, it's really hard to you know, have to bury one of your children. Deborah Johnson will never forget the morning deputies showed up at her door and told her her son was dead. Two years, um, and I still don't have any answers. A passerby found 22-year-old Adrian Johnson lying in the grass off of East Clip Road. He'd been shot several times. He was dumped like trash. It's sad that somebody could actually do that to a human being. Nine times. He was shot nine times. The sheriff says for the last two years, deputies have been chasing down leads. They've developed suspects, but are yet to find that one key piece of evidence that will connect somebody to the crime. I just don't understand how somebody could do that. Like, he was just so outgoing. Like, everywhere he went, everyone loved him. So, I just don't understand. Johnson's sister, Shaniqua, talked with her brother just hours before his death. We was on the phone. The last words was, I love you and I love you too. The sheriff says he's confident Johnson was killed in the same spot his body was discovered. Investigators found shell casings at the scene. This is a small town. Somebody knows something. This place is not big enough for the, the I mean, the people around here can't keep secrets. That's number one. But that secret is yet to come to light. It's a secret that would ease a family's pain. It would mean everything because we need some, some type of closure because we, we still don't know. So anything will help right now. Anything. As we mentioned, the Pasquotank Sheriff's Office says it does have some potential suspects, but just needs the evidence to connect them to the crime. If you have any information, give deputies a call. In the newsroom, Jason Marks, 10 on your side.